what is going on everybody my name is pete and you guys are watching pay to drive and pay to drive logs day number 1549 coming at you once again with another brand new video hope you're all doing fantastic out there ladies and gentlemen if you drive for apps like grubhub doordash uber eats or any of the others you my friends are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy so get started right now for free hit that red subscribe button down below turn on all notifications with the little bell to the right so you're always up to date and of course hit that like button down below it just lets youtube know i'm doing a good job in fact leave a comment saying liked l-i-k-e-d just so i know you did it and let's Jump into the email, Triple Lindy, Thornton Mellon style. Here we go. All right. So this comes from our buddy, James Ruffalo. And he says the following, Dear Pete, so I go to this restaurant and I get an offer at 3.10 p.m. Unfortunately, I don't have the screenshot of the order itself of the time I received it. But it said the order was late due to extreme lateness and there was road construction on Glendale Avenue and Litchfield. So I couldn't get to the restaurant nearby right away. And I get the warning if I don't appear to be heading toward the restaurant two minutes away from the restaurant. I don't know why that got repeated. Then I get there and the order was already taken from somebody else. Ah, wonderful. Uh, on the to-go rack that wasn't assigned to them. So I had to call DoorDash and then DoorDash had to call the restaurant and basically beg them to make the order again. And then the restaurant's yelling at DoorDash saying, but then we're going to lose money. And they said, yes, but then our Dasher's going to lose money. Unfortunately, James, you know they don't care about the Dasher at the restaurant. Also, basically what they were trying to tell them is that they shouldn't have the to-go rack in front of the counter right next to the door where somebody can just walk in and snatch it. It's very unorganized. That I kind of agree with. So that driver rep was okay. They got the order made. I even put it in the app while I was waiting for the order and etc. I then proceeded to the delivery after, and it, uh, after it's made smooth transaction so far. Then I get to the customer's apartment building and he basically gives me step-by-step -step instructions of how to get there because the numbers were all confusing. Ah, that's from Dino saying it like it is. Uh, then I get to the person's apartment and I deliver the food and he spots me in the back balcony. So I just hand it to him and uh, he hands me a $5 bill added to the order. And he says, use this for extra stuff since you went out of your way to get my food and make sure that everything was fine. And you texted me back and forth and I appreciate keeping me posted and keeping me in the loop about the food, which is awesome. Um, because I texted the customer and he said he didn't get the food yet, meaning that the order was never assigned to anybody else. It was assigned to me or was, and then the person took the food and then reassigned it. And then I showed up at the restaurant which is very possible. Then I deliver it to the guy, uh, wait, then, then I deliver it and the guy was very thankful. But here's the best part. When I delivered it and even he saw it with his eyes on his end, when I was marking the order as delivered, he saw the contract violation and he said to me, dude, that's messed up that you took every effort you can for me to get this order and they're going to charge you with a violation. I agree. So I called up DoorDash and they told me that my order was extremely late when all I did was go to the restaurant and pick it up and they claimed I was nowhere near the restaurant while I was waiting for the order. Even the guy that was the customer said I wasn't at the restaurant or at least he thought because the GPS said that I was standing still at another location. <clears throat> and so did DoorDash's uh, GPS saying that, uh, so why am I being charged with a violation that DoorDash uh, happened to? because also the next order I'm going to the next restaurant and I had to call the DoorDash rep again because when I was marking that order as arrived, it said I was nowhere near the restaurant when I was in the restaurant waiting for the order. So how can I be blamed for something that wasn't my fault? It doesn't make any sense. And then DoorDash said that they're going to look into the quote unquote investigation. So now I have to stay on them and make sure that they don't deactivate me for something that wasn't my fault. The customer sort of has my back, but I don't know if they're going to be able to call him and ask him anything. But I did tell the rep on the phone that he would be a witness, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I really hope this contract violation gets removed 
almost immediately because I should not be charged for something that was not my fault. I can understand uh, multi-apping and going to multiple restaurants and maybe that, but still I should not be charged for something that's not my fault. 100%. I agree with you, James. That was That's BS, you know? And chances are they're not going to remove that contract violation because anytime you call DoorDash about that, they're like, oh, there's nothing we can do about it. This is why I, I cannot stand these contract violations that they're doing on all these companies now, man. It's got to stop. So drivers and dashers, what do you think James should do other than trying to contact DoorDash? Because otherwise she's going to have to wait 90 days for those, you know, uh, those contract violations to expire or whatever. So it's ridiculous. But what do you guys think about it? Let me know down below. If you guys ever have anything you want to share with me, a comment, a topic, a question, a story, an article, send me an email, pay to drive stories at gmail.com. It's the best way to reach me. Or for a quicker response, you guys can message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash pay to drive. That link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. Anyone who signs up as a patron is my way of saying thank you is I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos, which I'm going to do right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We have Ron Grubb, our tier five driver. Thank you so much, Ron. And thank you to John Birchfield, David Moore, Angela Counts McCarty, Steel United 111, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Jimmy Santiago, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Laura Love, Tulsa Todd. Agus, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Tom Perry, Chadrick Howell, Brian Richardson, Candace Mitchell, Jenny Thomas, Joyce Hine, LaDonna Roten, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, Valerie Brown, and Rebecca Swenson. Huge shout outs to every single one of them. If you want to sign up, links in the description or the pin top comment. Who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it'll be you. Let's find out. And of course, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas with the free gas app called Get Upside. Look for the link in the description down below or the pin top comment that says get the free gas app. You click on there. It'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device you have. And then from there, you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Make sure to download it today, of course. And boom, if you guys want to get one of these awesome paytodrivestore.com t-shirts, you can go to paytodrivestore.com. See how easy that is? We have lots of brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day at paytodrivestore.com. Links in the description or the pin top comment. Go check that out today. And of course, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm very grateful for you all. Let me know by leaving a comment saying end 449, E-N-D 449. Just lets me know you made it to the end. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. And subscribe to my other channel, Team PTD. Links in the description or the pin top comment, of course. Go subscribe over there and uh, hit that like. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job and all that good stuff. And until next time, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Pay to Drive and Pay to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.